Hey guys, what's going on? So this is a another video I didn't think I'd be making for you guys. I keep trying to plan other fun things like my uh, car entertainment system with my BMWs in there, uh, how I use my vinyl over here. But every time I uh, get a new tweak or do something on my system, uh, I obviously want to share it with you guys and share my knowledge and my input and uh, let you guys go out and try it for yourself. And you always give me great feedback. I really enjoy it. So if something works for me and I hear it works for you, um, it's it's nice to have that you know reassurance that it's not quote unquote snake oil, right? So my uh, video today is about ceramic fuses. Now I uh, happened to come across a video this week uh, from Attila Portwill. He was doing a video on uh, audiophile and ceramic fuses. And uh, I really liked what he had to say. So I went and uh, also found a Paul McGowan video with PS Audio. And as you can tell, I have a couple PS Audio pieces there, so I like Paul. I met him a few years at CES. He's a really nice guy. Uh, well, he was talking about ceramic fuses and how he puts them in some of his audio equipment from the factory that he doesn't know why. And you can check out that video of his, but he doesn't know why, but it absolutely does make a difference. And from the factory, they use ceramic fuses. So I went out, um, Little Fuse is what I got from Fry's Electronics, just for my CD player, for my Macintosh. Now, I just got through reviewing the uh, Electric Company at piece, the EMC1, and I really noticed a difference between the players. Uh, there was just more bass, more foundation, more authority, more attack and dynamics with the Electric Company at than my Macintosh. So uh, when I got these fuses, I just got five by 20, one amp and two amps, uh, you know, opened up the top of the case, saw what was in there, uh, went and got these at Fry's and popped them in. Now, as soon as I, obviously I listened to a CD before I, uh, you know, got these so I could A-B comparison. And uh, uh, when I played the first song, it sounded like it always does. When I put these in, uh, immediately the what stood out for me is the piano keys. There was more layers or textures, just the tone sounded better. It was a deep, deeper view or, you know, hearing into the song. So uh, I was really excited. Now, one thing I did notice, however, like I do with a lot of electronics and, uh, you know, metal or capacitors or caps or relays, they need burn-in time. And a lot of people say, ah, oh, you don't need burn-in. Well, I'm sorry, I've, had, I've, I've run two audio stores and I'm, I'm working with the third one now and there's absolutely such a thing as burn-in. If you don't hear it, I'm sorry. But for you guys that do hear it and understand it, you know, uh, uh, metal expands and contracts and, you know, uh, heat gets in things and it just changes the way that that piece sounds. So I really did not think I would have that effect with a fuse. Uh, now, what I think is happening here and why I heard a difference, and I'm going to go on on what I heard. It just wasn't the piano keys. I let these play for four days straight. And uh, tonight I just heard so much music out of a CD I've been playing for years that I had to make a video for you guys and say, this is real. It's the cheapest tweak I've ever done. Um, I've got a $1,500 power cord on my Macintosh. I've got a uh, $500 worth of still points. I've got $1,000 interconnects. Uh, all of those have made a huge difference from the, the piece just coming out of the box with a stock cord and the rubber feet. Uh, so when I put these in, I really didn't think I would, I would hear that much of a difference, but I have. So. The, the, the dynamics from the uh, electric company at yeah, that foundation, that authority, it, it's in this player now from fuses. For $5 I paid for these for ceramic fuses. So what I, what I believe is happening is you've got all of that power from, you know, whether it's an amp or a preamp or, or, or whatever you're using, all that power, especially if you have a toy, tyroidal transformer, uh, you know, a large power supply, you've got a little bitty piece of thin uh, uh, metal that, that's going through that. So the housing, okay, that's all I can say is making the difference in my opinion. The housing of a glass, uh, you know, a, a glass housing is going to vibrate. Okay, it's very thin, it's very brittle. Have you ever set your electronic components on a metal shelf? You guys know what I mean. Uh, it, it's brittle, it's harsh. You put, then you put that amp or preamp or CD player on a wood base and everything warms up it becomes full you know you'll wonder why instruments are made of wood and not glass okay <laughs> so the resonance is very pleasing with wood well with glass i believe what was happening is that the vibrations or the heat or whatever was going through that fuse was vibrating that piece of uh element and it was causing distortion with the ceramic body uh it obviously is 
you know, half the heat that you're, get, uh, you know, you're getting off of glass. So they're, the thermally it's more stable. And I believe that that ceramic uh, prevents the fused uh, metal inside from vibrating. It's, it's a more solid housing. So that's the only thing I can think that's happening. But, uh, you know, I did put these in. I burned them in for a week. I've been playing uh, CD after CD that I've, you know, known in my collection for years. And I'm blown away by how this baby sounds. It's dynamic, more authority, more detail, more separation. Um, you know, please do go check out Paul McGowan's video. And also check out uh, this gentleman. Oh, I already went to screensaver. Um, check out this gentleman here. I'm just going to play a snippet for you since you guys are watching. So you can just hear him for a minute and see, see what I'm talking about. A couple of these, especially for the subwoofer. Okay, so you can see the uh, the uh, fuse is from Little Fuse. That's the brand, actually. This is great. This company, Little Fuse. They, they Little Fuse is fine. Little Fuse is what I got, guys. Um, uh, over at Fry's. So please go, please go check it out. Um, that's the end of this video. Um, I did hit a thousand subscribers uh, a week ago. Thank you guys so much. And uh, I will be making a thousand subscriber video for you guys. Probably gonna. Uh, tour the store over at Argetis. Uh, there is a store in Riverside, California opening, and there is a store here. That's why it's taken longer to open. We're opening two stores, and I will be doing sales and, and consulting for them still. So hang tight. I'm looking to uh, get a couple more pieces in here to review for you guys from the store. So with that, I will talk to you guys uh, very shortly, and enjoy the Fuse upgrade. Let me know what you guys think. Take care.